Queen G's recipes and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple recipe but very delicious and most definitely perfect for this time of year. It is my s'mores dip. It is just so so easy. You'll have it done in a jiff and the ingredients we'll be needing here are some semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use any chocolate of your choice, but because we have the marshmallows, it kind of balances it out and it doesn't uh, become too sweet. So you're also going to be needing some mini marshmallows, but if you do want to use the large, you can as well. Just use the same quantities, which will be in the description box. We also have a dish here. You can double, triple the recipe, make it in a larger dish. That'll be perfectly fine as well. Now in my dish, I have about a quarter teaspoon of vegetable oil. Now just with some paper towel here, I'm just going to smudge it around the dish just so nothing really sticks. Okay, so now it's as easy as this. Just add in your chocolate chips. Just level them out here. You also want to make sure you have your oven preheating at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're going to carefully spread out our marshmallows here. Can't get easier than this. Very, very easy to make. Now we will place this in our preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes or so, or when you start to notice that the top of your marshmallows are nicely golden brown. Okay, so my s'mores dip was in the oven for exactly 15 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and most definitely it is piping hot right now, but we are going to try some with some graham crackers. It is simply perfect, so easy to make, and it is exactly like having a real s'mores, but to me, it's less messier, and it is just perfection. Perfect for kids, perfect for a crowd, perfect for anyone, really. It is so, so good. Now, if you don't want your top of your marshmallows as golden brown as mine, you can just leave it in maybe three or four minutes less, and you can do that if you please as well. So that's it. So simple to make and most definitely I am going to go in for another one here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and I'll see you on my next video. Take care, bye everyone.